and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate the crema filter in Adobe Photoshop. You'll find this image via description link below. We only need three adjustment layers. The first one is the curves. Let us adjust the RGB channel first and we want to lift the left hand side upwards. So increase the output for the input zero up to around 20 to 30 should be fine for almost every image. And we want to decrease one on the right side and then create two more points at around middle quarter positions so that you've got four points. Drag them down a little bit and we need to adjust it later on slightly anyway. So the right hand side it adjusts the background as you can see the whites. And the further you go to the left the more you adjust the darker parts of the image. Let us create the next adjustment layer, which is hue and saturation. You want to go down with the saturation around 20 to minus 30 should fit for most images. And lightness, you need to adjust it only slightly. In this example, I go upwards a little bit. Plus 5 to minus 5 should be a good range. The final adjustment layer is brightness and contrast, and you want to increase the contrast completely. Uncheck Use Legacy and then put it to 100, and then you want to adjust the brightness. Let me get back to the curves and I'll adjust the RGB once more slightly. Let's look at the background here. I'll put the one on the right side a little bit upwards and the second one a little bit down. That's better. We go to the lightness up here and I increase the brightness slightly to 38 is good here. Now let's get to the color channels. So curves adjustment layer then select red. You only want to increase the output for the midtones. So click in the middle and drag it slightly upwards. And for the blue channel, you want to increase the output for the left hand side and decrease it for the right hand side. So you want to create a little more of a condensed curve here. You may want to increase the midtone slightly. And here's the comparison to the original. I'll go down even more with the brightness. So the exact values, they differ a little bit from image to image. But let us go through the three steps again. What we need is curves. Select the RGB channel and adjust it. Afterwards, add hue saturation. Go down with the saturation. And then you want to increase the brightness and the contrast to the extreme with a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Afterwards, you can go to the color channels and adjust them via the curves adjustment layer. And this is how you can recreate this Crema filter effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.